Golf Central on YouTube is brought to you by the Paradigm AI Smoke Woods and Irons from Callaway. My goal has been playing as well as I can uh, the entire year and um, it, it, it changes a couple of tournaments that I get in easier. Um, and um, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to, to kind of get on that next level and, and, and compete in majors and do all that kind of stuff. That's, that's, that's been my goal for, for a few years now. So, um, like I said, super excited, obviously, this week to get it done. And, um, yeah, have a great rest of the year. And you mentioned uh, missing or uh, uh, beating Scotty today, but there was a whole host of players who could have won. Just talk a little bit about the atmosphere out there with so many players with a chance to win. You know, I, I didn't really leaderboard watch a lot today. Um, I knew that um, Toasty was playing good in front of us. I don't know what, how he, he I must have bogeyed or something on the, on, on the end. Um, I knew that that Scott hitting that close on, on 18, I think then I looked at the leaderboard on 18 and, and, and figured, hey, you know, I make this, this is game over. Um, hit a great putt, just kind of left that a little right and uh, yeah, ended up winning the tournament, which was awesome. It's such a great feeling, obviously, and um, I'm super excited to get it done. And it, it you know, it, it, I couldn't have dreamt a better way to finishing and uh, beating the number one player in the world. and. Um, you know, the guy's really good, and uh, I, I'm, I'm super happy to get done this week. You know, but just if you look at your scorecard, it would look like you were playing defense on the back nine. And, and but, you know, no pars, no, uh, I mean, no birdies, no bogeys. Uh, but was that actually the case, or is that just the way it happened? You know, this golf course just, it, it, it kind of gets a little bit in your head on the back nine. There's a lot of trouble on 15, 16, 17, and... Um, you know, I really didn't hit in, in many bad shots. I left, you know, one in the heart on 12, um, great par on 13. Um, I felt like I kind of got stuck behind a tree on 14. And, 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 and you know, I, I felt like I was hitting good shots, hitting good putts. Um, they just weren't dropping. Um, you know, if you don't, hit a, you don't hit the fairway in 16, you're going to lay up anyways. It's a pretty easy hole if you hit the fairway. So um, I didn't feel like I was playing defense at all. Uh, I just, you know, it, it just, it's, uh, this game is very hard. Uh, it's hard to win on the PGA Tour, and um, I'm super glad that I made it. Yeah, we moved in the new house last week, so I actually didn't, literally my bag was in the travel cover until Sunday. I hit a couple putts and hit a couple shots on Sunday. And, um, but yes, with the family, I, I tried to make sure that um, if I've, had a long run to give some time uh, off golf, just not only for my family, also for me. This, this is a very demanding sport mentally, so you've got to be fresh um, to be able to compete out here. What are you thinking on 18 when, when Scotty's lining up for, for that putt? And, you, you know, what, what, what's your mental process, you know, going through there? Uh, where to hit it in the playoff on the green. Um, you know, it, I've always kind of been taught it, that was a match play situation at that point, right? So I missed my putt. And uh, you expect your opponent to make a chip or putt, whatever it is. Um, so that that was my mindset. And uh, you know, he's the best player in the world. Uh, you know, I think he was expecting it to make it too. Uh, I got lucky that it, that he didn't. Um, and uh, but he'll be back. I'm not worried about him at all. And you know, p playing with pressure, the being pressure of being in that final group and coming out with the wind is that, is that can be another can that be another you know springboard for you? Yeah, it just kind of validates the the work I've been doing uh, on and off the golf course, and it validates all the you know hours that I spend on 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 perfecting the craft in a sense. And um, yeah, you know, I, I found that the best way to kind of you know, reset after that is have some days off and, and, and make sure like, hey, you know, you're still, you're still just me, you know, uh, you won the golf tournament, but you still got to go back to work. You got to, you know, do the right things and do the things that got you there for sure. And th that, that moment, uh, you know, getting to celebrate with your wife and your young, you know, son, but you can put him in the trophy and everything. What, what, what does that mean to you? You know, what, what's that moment? Yeah, you know, I... Those two, uh, they've been by my side ever since. Obviously, my son's 16 months old, so um, that was a life changer. But my wife's been on my side for, you know, a long time. Um, she's seen the worst, and she's seen me win on the Corn Ferry Tour. Um, she, you know, she's been by my side. She's been my biggest supporter. 
uh, biggest critic too, you know, like uh, she, she'll she sit me straight if, if something's going on. So um, to be able to celebrate with them, uh, the two most important people in my life, and um, I'm super happy they were here. Um, and uh, to, to, you know, hopefully I'll do that again when my son remembers it. That's, I think, the, one of my goals in my life, to, to have him remember that dad was actually good at something before he's 14, 15 years old. I'm retired, and um, he's like, what did you do with your life? So, um, you know, that's kind of that's a long-term goal. Stephen, you mentioned the Corn Ferry Tour. How important was that tour, the experiences out there, to what happened today? Yeah, absolutely. You know, they, they, it's been a while since I won a tournament. You know, I think my last win out there was 2019. I think the Knoxville, no, 2021. 2021 that's what it was, yeah. Um, but, you know, it, it, it prepares you in a sense of knowing what feelings are going to come up, what, uh, you know, there is going to be some challenges and, things are gonna go a little bit haywire. Um, there's not a perfect round that you play on to the win on the PGA Tour or any tour. Um, so I felt like he prepared me definitely uh, to, to get it done today. Okay, Kevin. What was um, going through your mind at the end, just hugging your wife and son and just, what, what kind of emotions and thoughts come through your mind in that moment? Yeah, uh, you know, I, I always say, you know, that golf term, winning golf tournaments is not going to make us happy, but it, it sure as hell feels really good. So, um, you know, that feeling we chase for a lot of times over our careers and um, to be able to share that with, with the most important people in your world is, is, is amazing. And for, um, we've talked about it before, but could you give a quick kind of synopsis of how you got into the game and what brought you to golf as a kid in Germany? Yeah, uh, my family, that we lived pretty close to a golf course in Germany, um, maybe a mile or so. Um, I played all kinds of sports growing up, soccer, you know, the typical ger German sports, soccer, hockey in the winter, and all that kind of stuff. So um, golf kind of got in, I got in, I would say, decently late. I was probably nine or ten. Um, my parents always played golf on vacation. They you know, they bring my sister was a good golfer and she was a lot older than me. So I would just ride a golf cart when I, a golf cart when I was six, seven, eight years old. That was my favorite thing to do. Um, and eventually I was like, hey, I want to try this. And um, obviously went to the local club. They had a great junior program there. Um, and uh, yeah, kind of got better fast. And people were like, hey, you know, this kid's got some, you know, talent. Um, and I loved being out there. You know, back then we didn't practice much. It was more spending time and playing golf. And um, yeah, that kind of started the love, the love for golf and um, ended up coming over when I was 16 to, to the States and uh, played obviously in a great high school golf team. And um, yeah, stayed in Chattanooga ever, there, ever since. You, um, you've talked in Shelby's alluded to you in the past you would take kind of your bad rounds home with you more and kind of let that seep in a little bit to your life off the course why, why was it important to you to kind of change that it's hard uh still happens sometimes um that's that's a work in progress but uh you know golf is our life you know that's that's how we make our living um so to kind of put that in perspective you got to realize hey you know if we don't have golf. We're still gonna be a happy family. Um, that that was the biggest, um, you know, game changer in my life. I felt like with my son being born, um, it didn't matter if if I was a professional golfer or if I was, you know, a carpenter. Um, he was still gonna love me. I'm still gonna love him. And um, to have that perspective really helped. 